Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, in this series of videos we are working on uh, different labs that you should be doing for AC900 certification which is for Microsoft Azure fundamental exam. These series of labs are available on the GitHub from Microsoft Learning and I'm going to give you the link to this uh, lab. So let's see what we are doing here. Uh, it's usually pretty straightforward to create the storage account. Just like anything else we'll go to the portal and we'll search for the storage account and we'll click on add so using the portal and we'll configure the way they want and uh, we we uh, will start working on it so let's go to the portal and uh, from here uh, just search for the storage account and again, as I mentioned many times, always use the regular storage account. Do not use the classic unless you have a very specific need. So go and use the storage account. And here is our standard add button. So click on it. And we're going to configure the storage account the way it's asking. So we're going to create the uh, resource group, my RG store. So let's create new, paste. Uh oh. I may have a space. Uh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. I did not copy properly. So, copy. So, paste. Now we should have my RG store. Yeah. So, now hit OK. So, that's the uh, resource group name. Storage account name has to be unique. So, they must be saying, yeah, they're saying something like that. So, click, take that one, put it in here. And let's see, I'm going to add a bus at the very end of it. Um, they want us East US. East US is my favorite location these days. Oh, we choose East Asia. We want East US. There we go. And uh, standard. And you are always going to use the storage V2 uh, most of the time you know otherwise you have very specific reason I'm not going to use this premium but um so if you look at it we have blob storage uh, v1 and v2 so v1 is the previous version of v2 that's pretty easy and blob storage whatever comes under blob storage is already part of included within v2 so just always remember just go with the v2 uh, access tier I'm just going to use the uh, hot and for replication, uh, we're going to use, uh, we have many different kinds available. Locally redundant means in, in the same data center, you have this uh, uh, data available in multiple racks. But outside the data center, it's you're going to have a trouble if the data center fails. But it's the cheapest, so I'm still going to choose that one. And the lab says you do that too. And now we can do a, a review and create. So that's all we needed to configure for this particular storage account. And everything looks good. Validation has passed. So we can click on the create and it should create uh, everything. And then for the task two, uh, we're going to work with this blob storage. And there are two type of uh, services that are available within a storage account that you probably would use a lot. One is the blob container and there's a file storage. Uh, and we'll look into those and there are a table and queue as well. Uh, I typically do not use this but you may have a reason to use it. If you're especially application developer working with messages you maybe use, use the queue service. Uh, and the table service, if you have any specific need you can also use. But typically for most purposes uh, you know I would be using a blob or a file storage with a file store you can actually mount that file even to your machine and use it just like a disk that you have attached to your machine all right let's see what happened here so this deployment is still it says the deployment is complete for some reason this button I feel like should be enabled for us when that deployment is done if you don't see that, you can also click on here and click to go to the resource just to make sure that the account is available properly. And as I said, you have four different types of services within a storage account, containers, file shares, tables, and queues. The containers is really the blob service. So if you click on it, it was going to uh, uh, let you create a container. So when you click the container, you really be creating a blob container. So let's go to the lab. So here, we're going to 
click on the container and we're going to call it container one and while you're creating uh, these storage accounts okay this one is okay so this uh, for whatever reason this says this public access level is set to private because public access is disabled on this storage account so overall when we have created this account we have already said yeah do not allow any anonymous access always use the private no anonymous access so that's good that's what we wanted for our subscription right and uh, now click on container one and upload so now you have this container now within this container if you look at it you have the upload button is available and you can click the upload button and then you can select any files like I have a test R so I can click that one and if I say upload now this file is available over here okay so that's how easy it is to upload a file now they're saying uh, click the advanced button leave the default values for review the available options then click on upload so yeah we didn't really change any of that stuff authentication blob uh, upload uh, block size so all of that we just uploaded file uh, but if, uh, yeah this is the one you if you want you can review you can probably change some of this block size and you can change the access tier for this particular blob as well all right so uh, you can upload as many blobs as you like in this way new blobs will be listed within the container so your file that you just uploaded that will be considered as a blob once the file is uploaded right click on the file and notice options including view edit download properties and delete as you have time from the storage account plate review the options for file blade and tables and queues so let's go back and spend a little bit of time so if i click on it just right click on it i have a view edit download properties edit metadata lots of options and generate sas so if you want to give uh, permission to this particular file you can create a storage access signature we haven't talked about it so we'll come back to this one later uh, from even here as well so uh, let's go back um, so they said if we have time so let's go to the overview blade and file share it's also very easy to create a file share and it's going to use the SMB uh, protocol so say file share one I think you have to use all small letters yeah so quota said give two gigs and that's all you now you have a file share and the same way you can also upload the same file that I uploaded you can also upload to the file share and just click on it and right there is your file is available if you click on it you have list number of uh, options available here you can do edit download properties edit metadata and delete but you do not have that access control anymore or right from this so like you cannot create a sas uh, for a file within a file share now i think that's probably enough uh, for this section uh, let's go back storage account this is the storage account we're working on uh, table I have never used so just go and do um, do some uh, research on that and queue as I said it's for mainly used for application where you have event driven application you, you want to uh, process uh, queues at a later time as asynchronous type applications so come back over here so the last thing that we are do in this uh, lab is monitor the storage account um, usually monitoring pretty much for all kinds of resources there is a, a diagnose section uh, let's see where it is like diagnostic setting uh, if you go in here it usually has all kinds of uh, alerts metrics insights metrics workbooks a lot of stuff in here so let's see what exactly uh, this lab is asking so explore some of the most common storage problem um, notice there are multiple troubleshooter so I didn't notice that one so let's see if there is a troubleshooter anywhere maybe advice or recommendation what they're recommending I'm not sure which one they're talking about here for the troubleshooter uh, but let's stick to the diagnostic setting here for a second 
on the storage account blend scroll down to the monitoring section and click on insights preview so there is insights preview okay another thing you always remember the sum of the stuff is uh, changing a lot so inside used to be probably in uh, preview mode but now it's not it's like a fully generally available GA feature now so you can click on that one you probably have still the similar kind of feature but it's just note that it's no longer in a preview mode so when the, when the lab was uh, prepared or developed that feature was in the preview mode it's a common thing within Azure so always when you are following these labs, understand there might be some changes here and there a little bit. Okay, notice that there is information on failures, performance, availability, and capacity. So let, let's look at uh, that. Yes, yeah, so if I go to insights under monitoring for storage accounts, you have, uh, you have uh, information about availability. It's 100% available all the time. 63 transaction, success, and then success for latency. So all that information <coughs> you have available here, click on failure, uh, failing transaction, total transaction, succeeded that many, uh, client other error authentic authorization error is to WhatsApp performance, you have some data in here as well, availability, you have information, uh, and then it's everything looks like 100% available all the time so far and capacity is the another thing that uh, you can also look at what's the size what's the capacity for the, for the different kind of uh, accounts that we have okay uh, so that's pretty much all uh, that these labs wants you to understand so in this particular lab we created a storage account uh, in this storage account, uh, we have created a container, we created a file share, we uploaded some files, and then we looked at the monitoring from the insights feature. Okay, so on the monitoring features, we, in, we didn't look at the alerts. Uh, metrics probably will also give you some of that uh, kind of insights. So you can choose like transaction or availability, something like that over here let's look at last 30 minutes and you can apply so it will tell so it's just saying it's all 100 percent available for the last 30 minutes there was no problem with the with the availability so there are multiple ways to get to the same recommendation uh, same uh, graph or same information and uh, you can also look at advisor recommendations if there is any issues with the uh, storage account maybe the HTTPS is not enabled or you have uh, open ports or open access to the internet anybody can use it it will give you <coughs> some kind of advice and you should take a look at it and analyze if you should take an action on those but for the lab we have completed this lab successfully if you enjoyed the video please give me a like subscribe share the video with friends if you have any comments whatsoever please feel free to uh, leave the comments for, for me if you're preparing for the exam good luck um, learn Azure and enjoy your cloud experience thank you good luck